Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. So back in October of 2021, I did the first video about the new preview feature of Microsoft Teams chat embedded in Dynamics 365. So since then, there's been a couple of additions to the functionality and that's what I'm going to talk about in this video today. So let's take a look at those features that have been added to the embedded Microsoft Teams chat in Dynamics 365. So you can access this from the customer service hub. You just need to go here to the service management area here in the application. And then when you scroll down, you're going to see the Microsoft Teams integration, and then you need to click here on the collaboration button here on the sitemap. So we've already seen this, how to turn it on, but this is where I wanted to talk a little bit about the added functionality here. So what we can do from here, as you can see, is you can actually select the tables that you want people to be able to link those team chats to within Dynamics 365. So you can see there's already a whole bunch of them that are added to this list, right, of tables that we can link these team chats to. If you want to remove any of those, you can just click here on the ellipse and then you can just click here, remove. Now, if you want to add a new table, you're just going to go scroll down all the way until you see here this add record types. So you can click on the add record types and then select that table directly from within here, right? So you're going to say, for example, calendar, and then you can turn this on as well to provide context for new linked chats and to suggest context. So I'm going to get into those two settings in a bit, but that's this is how you add these tables to allow users to link their Microsoft Teams chat to those individual records. So then you hit save. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to hit cancel, but that's how you can add these record types. Now, in order to do this from the field service app, let me go here to field service. You're going to navigate here to the settings area. And then again, you're going to scroll all the way down until you get again to Microsoft Teams integration and collaboration. Now, if you want to enable this in the customer service workspace app or in the Omnichannel app, you'll have to go here to make.powerapps.com. And obviously you got to make sure you're in the correct environment, right? Which we are, you're going to click here on apps and then Let's say we want to go to the customer service workspace first. So you click on the ellipse and then you click on app profile manager. And then what you want to do is you want to update the omni channel upgraded out of the box default app profile. So I'm going to click here on app profiles. And most of these out of the box profiles, you're not going to be able to edit them but I am going to be able to edit this guy, the omni-channel upgraded out of the box default app profile. You can see there's also not a lock next to it. That means that I can edit that profile. So in order to turn on that integration, you're going to click here on productivity pane. And then here you got to make sure that that Microsoft Teams collaboration setting is obviously set to on. So that's how you can set that for customer service workspace and for the Omnichannel app as well. All right, so let's go back here to Dynamics 365. And 
let's go back here to the service management settings and again to collaboration. So now let's go ahead and instead of clicking remove, let's click on edit. And when we do that, you can see that this page comes up that just has settings regarding to that table, right? So these are my customer asset settings. And what can I do from here? I can actually provide context for new linked chats. Well, what does that mean? Well, what that means is that we can actually select a message view and that is nothing more than a view. So in this particular case, you can see this says customer assets grid two. That's just a view that I have for this customer assets table. And if I hover my mouse over that, you're going to be able to see that this information is going to be shared in the Microsoft Teams chat. So as soon as I start a linked chat from a record in Dynamics 365, it's also going to add these fields and the data in those fields as well. So if I'm on a particular customer asset and I start a, a linked chat, it's gonna put in the name of the asset, the condition and the value, right? Obviously in those fields, when it was installed and the serial number. And again, depending on what I'm looking at, right? So for example, if I click here on work order, right? Depending on what I'm looking at, you're gonna have these different settings in there, right? Now we're looking at work order settings and therefore I need to select a work order view. And again, the first five fields, right? You can see that over here, work order number one, two, three, four, five. The first five fields of that view will be entered in that new linked chat. So let's take a look at that. I'm gonna duplicate here this page. I'm gonna go back here to service and let me actually go back here to field service and create a, or, or open a work order. Let me just do that. Let's see here, Coho Winery. Let's open this guy up. <clears throat> and from here, I'm going to then click here on that Teams integration. And you can see that there is currently nothing linked by me, but I can start a new link chat. And let me just type a name here. I'm going to say this is going to Dion, myself. And as you can see, when that introduction message is sent, if I leave this checked, it will add this data to that message as well. So I'm going to hit here, start chat. There we go. And here you can see that during that chat or at the start of the chat, all of the information regarding this particular work order has been sent to the person I am doing this chat with, right? All right, so that's how that works. Now let's go back here to the settings. I'm gonna go back here to the service management settings. And then again, I'm gonna go here to collaboration below Microsoft Teams. So the other thing that I wanted to show you here, let me again click here on edit. We already talked about that context for new linked chats, but I also wanted to talk a little bit about suggested contacts in Dynamics 365 and in Teams. And what you can see here is that we can have rules-based suggested contacts. And if I hover my mouse here, you can see that it says that we can set up rules to determine how to suggest contacts related to the record. So there are already some rules here, which we can disable as you can see. And then I can change the importance of the rules as well. So obviously as further up it is, number one is most important and then number two, et cetera. I don't believe that we can create 
our own rules, we can just reorder them or enable or disable them, right? By default, they're enabled, and then we can disable them by clicking on this little icon. And again, we can move them around on here as well. Now, okay, that's great, but what does that mean, right? So suggested contacts are really suggested folks who could help with a particular Dynamics 365 records. And these suggestions are actually going to show when a user opens a record or starts a new linked chat from Dynamics 365. Now, before I'm going to show you what that looks like, I want to go here into the case settings. I'm going to click here on edit because we have not just rule-based suggested contacts here, but also AI-based suggested contacts. And as you can see here that this is actually going to suggest contacts who have experience in solving similar cases, right? Similar related records. So that actually takes advantage of, you can see that here already, turn on similar case suggestions first. So you need to enable that first because the AI suggested contacts actually take advantage of that, those rules or that logic, I should say. So the way that that works is that it actually looks at several factors, right? Um, when it's suggesting contacts based on similar cases, right? So for example, it looks at what the average time was that it took for a contact or a user probably i should say right to resolve the similar case and obviously the contact the contact that spent the least average time will be more likely to be suggested as a contact right that could help with the case it also looks at how long ago did the contact resolve a similar case right the more recent a similar case was resolved again the higher the chance of the contact being suggested to help right with that similar case and then how many similar cases has the contact resolved again the higher the number of resolved similar cases the more of a likelihood to be added as a suggested contact and then lastly how similar are those case or cases that have been resolved right obviously again the more similar the resolved cases are the more likely the person will be suggested as a contact all right so this is where you can turn that on or off now let's go back here to dynamics i actually have oops I actually want to go to a record here. So I'm going to copy and paste that URL directly in here. And then I'm going to click here on that Teams integration icon. So if I click here on new linked chat, you can see here that it says resolved similar cases. So that's really showing me any folks that have resolved similar cases based right on all of those rules that I just went through with, with you earlier. Now let's go to a different case and I'll show you, this one should have some suggested contacts. Yep, there you go. So here, are my suggested contacts, right, that are based on who we've talked to about this record. You can see here I'm actually logged in as a different user, Teresa Testing, and it looks like that I actually talked to myself, Dion Taylor, as Teresa, right, about uh, this particular case. So that's why it's kind of showing me uh, myself as a suggested contact, right? So what I can do from here is I can start that linked chat directly with Dion from here. And again, if I click, oops, and again, if I click here on new linked chat, right, it's showing me the folks that are related to this record. And again, resolves people who have resolved similar cases. Now, again, I don't have any records in here because I just turned this on. And I think it needs to kind of run that logic a little bit first in order before it shows you those related contacts of those similar cases. But I, again, this is where that would show up. And of course, 
right? Again, this is where the suggested contacts show up in here. Uh, you can see here also why, right? It says the admin of the team owning this record. That's why this person is a suggested contact. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Happy New Year, everybody, and I'll see you next week.